On a cold day in December, a team of six men arrives on this rooftop at 7 a.m. With old-fashioned tools, they peel down one huge barrel and put up another, all before the sun sets. This is a Rosenwalk tank team, a group of men who bounce from rooftop to rooftop, building or repairing the big barrels that hold the water that makes the city run. You know, out west, they're silos. This is just a silo that holds water. David Benia has worked for Rosenwalk tanks for eight years. Injured by a fall, he can't build them anymore, but he comes to these rooftops every day anyway for the history. We took down two tanks on 9th Avenue that were built in 1947. So here's a tank that sat there after World War II and it saw Korea and Vietnam and Desert Storm and now this one. <laughs> so. The process hasn't changed in the 112 years since Rosenwalk started putting barrels on roofs. A cedar wood floor is built like a round dinner table. Staves go up around the sides, linked together by dowel rods. At the end, steel hoops hug the barrel together. But the magic ingredient is the water itself. Kenny Lewis explains. And then when they fill it with water, it swells, and then it's watertight, it doesn't leak. It's just like a ship, only from the inside out instead of the outside in. You know what I mean? It's hard to imagine the Rosenwalk crew more at home anywhere but here. The landscape up here, unseen from the city streets, is the New York they know best. I'm Gina Moore for the Christian Science Monitor.